Hey guys, welcome back to Bios Garage. Today it's going to be another series on this uh, 190E. Uh, it's going to be part two actually. I already did the compression test on it. As you guys know, uh, the engine is running rough. It's a hard start. Uh, it has low power, so I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I, I'm that kind of person that I like to diagnose stuff. I don't like just throwing parts at it. I'm not that, that type of person, so I just like to go ahead and diagnose it. And we're gonna go ahead and. What's up? You still have those black zip ties? Oh yeah. <sighs> All right, back to <laughs> back to talking. So um, I had to give uh, my buddy a tool. Uh, he needed one. So, anyways, um, so like I said, I don't like to change uh, parts or just throw parts at the car. You know, I like to diagnose stuff. So. Uh, today I'm gonna be focusing on fuel injectors in the first video uh, series uh, right here that you can if you haven't watched be sure to check it out I did the compression test which came out pretty good I'm happy with the results on all four cells six cylinders pretty much we had a really good compression uh, you know it was pretty much equal you know that's what I was looking for make sure it wasn't like a huge difference like 25% difference or whatever but uh, it was pretty good uh, and then I also uh, I noticed that uh, the previous owner whoever else owned this car put uh, some cheap junk uh, auto light spark plugs in there so I installed a really nice original uh, not original but just like Bosch uh, W Iridium spark plugs in there so that's what this car has right now and um, I also did the oil change you know I was also I did the oil change because you know, I just want to change oil. Uh, you know, I drove this car uh, around about like 1500 miles, and the oil uh, when I changed the oil first time in this car it was pretty bad. So I just wanted to change it after 1500 miles. Right now, it has some fresh oil in it and all that stuff. And also, another reason why I changed it was because I was soaking the cylinders in diesel purge. I just wanted to see if the diesel purge would do the trick of you know um, getting the compression higher, but it actually didn't do anything. You know. Uh, it, but uh, you can see all that in the previous part uh, you know, of this uh, of these video series so anyways today I'm gonna focus on fuel system I'm gonna um, go ahead I replace I'm gonna replace the fuel injectors and the seals uh, and I'm pretty sure that the injectors haven't been replaced in uh, like probably like 10 years or so if not more so I'm gonna do that uh, and also uh, want to replace the seals for the injectors because those are the ones that actually go bad and they cause vacuum leaks which actually uh, causes your engine to run rough and misfire so I want to do that as well um, and I'll try to show you you know like how you can test your fuel injectors easily um, without having like special tools or like a pressure tester or whatever um, but I'm just gonna show you on a couple of them or maybe one and that's it uh, but I want to refresh the fuel injectors because they look pretty old and I don't think they're spraying correctly uh, so we're gonna focus on that and here's why I'm not gonna do anything to the ignition system um, after replacing the spark plugs I know that the spark plugs are good and that uh, you know the previous owner replaced the ignition coil on this car uh, this spark plug wires so those are pretty good I'm pretty conf pretty confident that everything is okay with that so that's why I want to focus on fuel system so here's the engine so before I take this uh, air filter off I'm gonna show you once again I'm gonna start the car show you how it runs um, and just so you guys have an idea of how it's running which you probably saw in the previous video but today I'm gonna show it to you once again Not touching the gas pedal, none of that. Let's try it. I don't know why, whenever I try to film a video, like it starts right away. It's really weird. Like, I don't know, because yesterday it was just, it, would, it had like a really long crank before it started and it would, it would barely start. It would like try to die and stuff. But. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the exhaust. Okay. Right now, it's it's it, it seems like like it's smooth, but it's not. The engine has a shake and it's shaking and, and all that stuff. So, all right. Here's the 
that fuel injectors I'll be putting on. I'm pretty excited, guys. Okay, it has these fuel injectors. Elliot, Germany. And then, got new seals for the injectors as well as the O-rings, okay? Six of them. So, I'm gonna take off this air filter first and then we can get to these injectors easily. You can get to this one easily first, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll remove the air box. I already removed these nuts and the uh, ECV tube. Right. Air cleaner. guys here's our famous fuel distributor okay so and these are the lines coming out of the fuel distributor it goes to a cold start injector and it goes to your regular injectors one two three four five six so those are the injectors that we're going to be focusing on okay um and uh Yes, I do know that you guys are going to say, oh, check for vacuum leaks. Yes, I will be checking for vacuum leaks eventually. But right now, I just want to replace these injectors. And I'm pretty sure those seals are bad. And they also cause some vacuum leaks as well. So, And the injectors look pretty old. So I really want to refresh this system. And then uh, I will start afterwards. I'll probably start focusing on the vacuum leaks like more thoroughly. Probably hook up like the smoke machine and all that stuff. And... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep working on it, we'll keep diagnosing and uh, looking what's up and eventually we'll make it uh, pretty good. So, uh, right now, as you can see, so the system looks, I already worked on all these uh, ball joints here and I lubricate all that stuff, so that's all good. Um, yeah, but anyways, I have these injectors that I need to install. Uh, and you want to make sure that you're being clean and if you can go ahead and uh, use compressed air or something to blow out all this area to make sure that once you pull these injectors and the holders for the injectors nothing falls inside so you want to make sure that's all taken care of here's how the new injector looks like comparing to the old one and I like how they have everything capped off here it's pretty nice so I'm getting ready to install these new injectors. It is I loosened all these injectors already and I loosened this harness a little bit. There are just a couple of retainers. I lifted it up uh, so it gives, gives me more access to all these injectors. And I also used 12 millimeter uh, wrench to loosen all these uh, lines right here. Fuel lines that go to the fuel injector so that way I can move these lines around once I take off. Like let's say if I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know, I'll take this line off, right? So let me take this line off. I can maneuver this line a little easier. Okay. Right, so. See this line? Because I loosened it right there, I can maneuver it around. It's a little tight to work with this, but we can get it done. Right, just be careful, don't stress these lines too much or bend them too much. Also, I see a problem. This is how this was. These were rubbing a little bit on this idle control valve, so I don't like that. So I have to fix that up. It's not a big deal. Get it, get it done. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and replace this guy. All right. I removed this retainer, and like I said, because I loosened these lines on top of the fuel distributor, I can move these lines easily. Okay, like that. All right, so this line is out of the way, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean around this area. It's actually a good idea to do that before 
you take off the line, but we're going to be really careful. Just clean all this area up along the outside debris. All these injectors, okay. Just make sure nothing falls in there. Unless we take out the injector. In this case, this whole injector with the holder is coming out. Oh, never mind. Ooh, look at that. This injector. Okay. So we're going to clean this holder, replace the seal, and then... other holder right here okay look at that it all needs to be cleaned and washed so I plugged this hole temporarily and I am cleaning all this hardware right now okay so that's the injector holder okay so these are my new seals like I showed you and this right here is the main injector holder okay i cleaned it all up okay and i just gotta replace the seal right now it's got some discoloration but it's good it's not cracked it's perfect so i'm gonna replace this o-ring and install a new injector in i'm using silicone grease on this new o-ring about to reinstall it on this holder all right, new O-ring is installed. I'm gonna take out our napkin. And then I'm gonna install this stuff. Let's make sure you're all clean. There you go. Baby is in now. Right. Now we can install seal on the injector and install a new injector. And okay, brand new injector, holder, and brand new seal going in. is replaced I'm moving on to the next ones these ones are a little harder to replace but we'll get them done no problem and I'll show you everything I'm after I'm done so if this holder doesn't come out easily don't use the pliers just uh, try to rotate it and then take it out should come out no problem so the injectors that I pulled out were all original injectors. They're actually Mercedes injectors. Right there. So they've never been replaced. I mean, I'm pretty sure they've never been replaced. Um, you know, after 250,000 miles on the car. So, and um, yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised, but right now, uh, we installed those brand new Bosch injectors and uh, you know we're gonna see how the car is gonna act alright guys this is another day I'm just wrapping things up here I already replaced the injectors all six of them and uh, uh, here they are okay we got brand new fuel injectors um, 
as well as injector seals and holder uh, o-rings okay so those are all reconnected all the lines are back on and tightened up and this harness is back on everything is reconnected okay right now i just have to put the uh intake back on with the air filter and we should be good to go um and i just haven't i just wanted to show you not show you but i just want to tell you i mean i haven't really done it but uh the way if you want to like let's say test your old fuel injectors i just know that my old fuel injectors were bad because they were all original mercedes with 250,000 miles i'm pretty sure they were like bad um but here's how you can test it you can either use a pressure tester okay uh, with pumping action so you can test your fuel injectors on the bench or there's another method that you can do is you can actually like let's say if you want to test this number one injector right so you will remove this line okay this fuel line is gonna you know you're gonna remove it from the injector you're gonna take the injector out okay and with the injector out when the injector is out you're gonna tighten it you know when the injector is out and then you're gonna put like a bottle in here and then the injector is gonna be spraying down in there and then you're just gonna start the car okay you're gonna see how it's spraying and the spray pattern it has to be spraying with like a fine mist with spray but if it's leaking or if it's not spraying right or if it's not spraying at all that's bad okay it has to have like a fine mist spray pattern uh, and then another way how you can do it is uh if you have a 2.3 liter 190 uh, you're gonna have a uh, fuel pump relay down there behind the battery and then you're gonna take that out you're gonna actually bridge um, contacts seven and eight so you can actually activate the fuel pump so when you bridge the contact seven and eight the fuel pump is gonna get activated it's gonna be running right and the ignition has to be on obviously and then you're gonna come over here and once again you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna actually pull all the injectors out and you're gonna actually set each injector into a separate bottle okay you're gonna have a lot of you're gonna have six bottles here okay and then with the ignition on and the fuel pump activated you're gonna be pressing this down as you're pressing this airflow meter down the injectors are gonna be spraying constantly and you're gonna be able to see which injectors are spraying correctly which ones are not on the 2.6 liter m103 engines uh you don't have a fuel pump relay you have a mass um uh, module which is down there there's the guy okay so that mass module is responsible for your fuel pump activation so uh and uh, it's pretty hard to get to it's uh um yeah but with that one you also you can activate the fuel pump like that you will have to take it out and you i actually don't remember you have to look up the wiring diagram for your uh, specific year make a model and uh, find out which contacts uh, go from the mass uh, module to the fuel pump so you can activate it correctly but i just know that on a 2.3 uh, liter there's a fuel pump really like a small one and you just bridge two contacts seven and eight um and yeah that's it i hope you i hope it makes sense guys you know I, i'm sorry i didn't show it to you you know it was really getting dog i just wanted to replace these injectors and i know that they're uh, in a bad condition you know they're they're old and they're original mercedes uh you guys saw that and uh yeah and uh, anyways um uh those are the two methods or three methods that you, how you can test your fuel injectors um and yeah i think uh method two and three are pretty good uh if you don't want to spend money on uh, uh you know purchasing the pressure tester um okay i'll run you quickly how to uh, test your fuel injectors so this is the these are the lines you will need um and then you have to take these lines off of the fuel distributor and then you're gonna connect these lines into here um and uh i'm about to show you how to do that and you'll have to jump the fuel pump relay or the mass module to activate your fuel pump and you have to have the ignition on for that and yeah i'll show you really quick a setup of one i'm not gonna really like test them or anything but um i'll show you how you can do it yourself so you would connect all the lines not just one but you would connect all the lines this way and then you would connect your fuel injector into here tighten it and then you would activate your fuel pump 
um, and then once you come here and you also need to put these in a bottle somehow you have to make a space and put each one of these injectors in a bottle because they will be spraying here all over the place so once you have that okay then you will just press this airflow airflow plate down i can't speak today it's cold uh you're gonna press this down and then you will see the injector spray pattern okay it should be uh should be spraying uh pretty well um it should be misty and all that if it's leaking if it's not spraying well that's a bad injector so that's this is one of the methods that you can use to do it this way okay if you uh don't want to do this uh like that then you can buy uh um you know uh pressure kit and then you can literally just uh pressure test it just literally put it on the stand and then hook this up to the pressure tester and just pump it up and then you will see the same spray pattern like i showed you in this method pretty much i didn't show it to you you know i'm just running 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 out of time i have to move on so we just got new fuel injectors and that's it and these are these were original ones one more thing i forgot to mention is well, after installing the injectors i removed this fuel line and this inline uh like pre-filter for the fuel distributor and i took it out and i cleaned it up just to make sure there's no debris or junk in there so it's all good right now All right, after installing new injectors, we're gonna go ahead and fire her up. So the engine is still not gonna be perfect, but on startup, I mean, it's still a little shaky, okay? But I'm gonna tell you that it runs a lot smoother than before, okay? So we're one step closer to success, all right? And I already checked for fuel leaks. There's no fuel leaks anywhere. Everything is good, okay? Um, so yeah, it's not perfect, okay, like I said, but we're one step closer, okay? Next thing will probably be uh, possibly i'll have to check the fuel pump check valves and all the other stuff and then finally i really want to rebuild this fuel distributor probably so we're going to check the fuel distributor in later videos and all that stuff so uh you know the car is not perfect yet but it's running a lot better now So yeah, it's still not perfect, but we're getting there. We're getting there, okay? Those original injectors, I'm pretty sure were not the best. So um, that's why it has brand new Bosch injectors right now. Um, and you wanna make sure you put Bosch fuel injectors uh, in this car. Don't put any cheap, cheap aftermarket junk in it. Um, yeah, so that's probably gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna go on a test drive. I'm not gonna film much, but uh, you know i'm just excited uh you know seeing this car uh getting to the shape like it was from the factory so it's pretty amazing all right